Los Angeles County is the largest voting jurisdiction in the nation, with more than 5.8 million registered voters across 4,100 square miles. The Registrar Recorder County Clerk is the department responsible for conducting federal, state, local, and special elections, and it is our mission to continuously provide voters with a convenient, accessible, and secure voting experience. In 2020, the Registrar Recorder County Clerk implemented the county's new voting system, Voting Solutions for All People, and adopted the California Voters' Choice Act, which provides voters with expanded options, time, and accessibility to make their voices heard in a modern and secure manner. As an election worker, you play a critical role in providing a positive experience to all voters and to provide assistance to voters who may need help using the new voting equipment at the vote center. In Los Angeles County, it is estimated that 20% of the population identifies as having a disability. As an election worker, it's important that you are prepared and know how to help a voter who may identify as having a disability so they can accessibly and independently participate in the electoral process. The question is, will you know what to do? To give you a better understanding, we interviewed voters with various disabilities to find out firsthand what their needs are. The whole idea is dignity. As a person with a disability, it's important that people understand we want to be treated with dignity and respect. I've had experiences where the election workers have put me to the side until they've had time to help me. We don't like it when we're defined by our disability. I'm not a person who is blind, I'm just a person who has difficulty seeing. Another time, the election workers all huddled together and had a meeting to decide what to do with me. They didn't understand that a person can be disabled without any physical signs. This is demeaning and embarrassing. Let's look at a few simple steps you can take to ensure voters with a disability have a positive voting experience. When communicating with voters, you should always keep it simple and polite. When in doubt, leave it out. Take any reference to a disability out of your dialogue. For example, you would say, this person needs assistance using the voting booth, also called ballot marking device or BMD. In this example, there is no reference to a disability and you don't run the risk of offending anyone. It's simple and polite. When in doubt, leave it out. One of your most important responsibilities as an election worker will be to greet and assist voters as they approach the vote center. The voting experience is still relatively new to voters and they may need your assistance. When a voter approaches the check-in table, you should give them this official greeting. Hello, let us know if you need any assistance today. This greeting should be used for all voters, not just for voters with disabilities. This is important because it's our goal to treat everyone the same. We don't want to embarrass anyone by singling them out. After greeting the voter, you should ask if they are comfortable voting on the equipment or if they would like assistance. In most cases, voters are comfortable using the ballot marking device on their own. However, some voters may need assistance or guidance. If a voter declares that they need help or will have some difficulty using the equipment, you should guide the voter to an available ballot marking device and explain how to use the BMD, including how to change display settings or how to use the control keypad and headphones to review their ballot and mark their selections. In the following scene, we see how an election worker greets and assists a voter who is blind or has limited vision. Hi, how can I assist you today? Hi, I'm here to vote. I'll be looking up your voter record. Let me know if you need any assistance. I'll be able to help you. Yes, can you guide my hand to where I need to sign because I'm visually impaired? Now I'll give you the stylus and all you have to do is sign and then I'll guide your hand to the screen as well. Can I be of any assistance? Yes, I'm not familiar with the new voting device. Can you help me? I can assist you at the voting booth. Thank you. The ballot marking device is directly in front of you. There are several options that you can use to change the screen contrast and the text size. Or you can also navigate the ballot using the control pad and the audio headset. Which option would you like to use? 
I would like to use the audio headset and control pad to fill out my ballot. I've never used it before. Okay, now I'm gonna put the headphones on you and also direct you on how to put the ballot into the ballot marking device, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Thank you. now you can put the ballot to your right. Yes, just fill, fill along. Oh. There you go. Thank you. Now if you can reach out in front of you, the control pad is directly in front of you. There you go. Great, if you need any assistance, I'm here to assist you in anything. And once you're done, I will have your assistant come and help you and also guide you to get your I Voted sticker once you're done. Thank you. You're welcome. It's important to note that our election worker made certain that the ballot was properly cast into the ballot box located in the back of the ballot marking device. Our election worker also asked the voter if she needed assistance to the exit. This is an important and kind gesture to ensure the voter safely exits the building. Los Angeles County is committed to providing a positive experience to all voters who visit a vote center, even if that person cannot leave their vehicle. Therefore, the Registrar Recorder County Clerk is continuing to offer curbside voting. This preference allows voters to make their selections from the comfort of their own vehicle. It does take a bit longer to accommodate, but it is available to anyone who requests it. Let's watch how our vote center worker handles curbside voting. Oh, there's the number for the curbside voting. I'm going to call. Hello, this is the VAAC site. How can I assist you? Hi, I'm going to have a little trouble getting into the building. Do you think you can help me? Yes, we offer curbside voting. I can come out there and assist you. Is that something you'd be interested in? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Hi, please fill out the certification of voting with disability card and then I will take that into the vote center and have a check-in clerk pull up your information and print out your ballot. There are a few details you need to remember when using curbside voting. Have the voter complete the certification of voters with disabilities card so the check-in clerk can look up their record. Then, take the voting materials to the curbside. It is important to remind voters that the new curbside voting process allows them to create a poll pass, which is a QR code that contains the voter's selections. The election workers take the poll pass and scan that code on the ballot marking device and print their ballot for the voter to review. The voter may want someone else to assist them during curbside voting. As discussed earlier, this is acceptable, but you'll have to confirm that the assistant is not the employer or an agent of the employer of the voter or a member of the union board the voter belongs to. The assistant does not have to be a registered voter and the assistant cannot divulge how they voted. Finally, if you have any questions or doubts, Call the election worker hotline and a county representative will help you. The Los Angeles County Registrar Recorder County Clerk thanks you for taking the time to watch this video to improve the voting experience for all voters. Visit www.lavote.net or call 1-800-815-2666, option 3, for more information on voting accessibility.